Hey, what's up guys, Bricks Galore here, and today I'm going to be reviewing LEGO Set 76244, Miles Morales vs. Morbius. This has 220 pieces and re retails for $25 in the US. Also, sorry, I am a little sick, so that's if my voice sounds a little bit weird. But anyways, this set comes with two minifigures, Miles Morales and Morbius in LEGO form, which is really cool. And then as we spin the box around onto the back, we can see them in a couple more of their playful positions as well as one of the features of the set. So with that being said, let's open this up. And so our first minifig here is Miles Morales. And while this is a pretty normal average Lego minifigure, it's still definitely a fine one. You have a nice torso print as well as obviously a very good head print. The one thing, this minifig does kind of look like it's lacking leg printing in my opinion, which is just a bit of a downside. And then you can see the back has some more cool printing there. And so this is a fine minifigure, but one that many Marvel fans already probably have one of, and is definitely not the reason that you're gonna be buying this set. And then for our second minifigure, and the reason that many LEGO fans, including myself, will be buying this set is for our first ever LEGO Morbius. That's right, it's Morbin time. So anyways, this is a pretty good looking figure. I'll admit, just like Miles Morales, I think this minifigure could have used leg printing, which is again, sort of Lego skimping out, especially on a cool minifig. So that is a little disappointing, but as you can see, it does come with a bunch of accessories with two bats, as well as two canisters of things. I'm not exactly sure what they're supposed to represent. But the minifigure itself does look cool. We got a really good looking face print. I think the hair that they used to represent him was a fine option. I also, I don't feel like it was perfect. And then he does have a dual sided face. So if you flip it around, you can get a more angry Morbius expression. So anyways, while I'll admit, I don't think Lego did a perfect job with this minifigure. It's still the reason I picked this setup. And it's still the reason that I think this is a fine set to pick up at $25 because of this Lego Morbius. And then in terms of the actual set itself, which is Miles Morales' car, it is fine. As you can see, it is a pretty good looking car. Luckily, this actual, the front piece at the front right here is actually printed, which is a pretty cool thing they did for this set that I actually really appreciate. This back part can move up and down. And I mean, it works just like a car. Just have this really sort of obnoxious lightning piece sticking out the back, which again, makes a set like hard to display. But of course, if you really want to display it differently, you could just take it off or you can keep it in. It's not really that big of a deal, but it is just something to note that this has a huge lightning piece sticking out the back, which is kind of cool because I mean, this is a big piece that could be used for other things in your collection. In terms of the car, I mean, we obviously, we have stud shooters on the sides here that make the studs go flying. So, those are cool, as anyways, at, I'm like, this is a set that I'm sure kids would love. And then you can obviously open it, and there's a very big space, actually, for you to fit your Miles Morales into. Like, it's actually very spacious in there. Um, like, he can fit in a wide assortment of ways actually and be able to fit in. I just didn't attach him to the bottom. That's why he didn't fit right there. But it's a very spacious place in there. So this is a, I mean, it's a fun play set, but for me, it's definitely no reason to buy this set because it's not a real thing in universe. It's just something that Lego created as a way to sell more Marvel minifigs. So yeah. All right, so at the end of the day, this is a fine $25 set that if you're going to be picking up, I would only say pick the setup if you want the Morbius minifigure. Other than that, it's a very average car with another minifig that probably most big Marvel fans already have. So at the end of the day, it's a fine set. I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. I don't love it, but it's fine again. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, <laughs> subscribe to Bricks Galore if you liked this video and like the video if you liked the video. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later on Brick Store. Bye.